Well, I think it's important because you know these stories need to be told. Um, you know, we as indigenous people have experienced a lot of you know um, harm through colonization. Part of that experience was the residential schools that had you know uh, prevented indigenous students and children from speaking their own language. Then he saw what happened. Um, actually, he saw wild horses breaking reins and turning wild and eating each other. And so I think that they can have this was a creature that was cannibalistic. And then that's when they came along, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's a great play. I mean, there's so much potential and in this play. It's brilliantly written, uh, and it's a lot of fun, and, and I think people will, will relate to it. You know, the power structures in Macbeth, everything that goes with that dark story of um, betrayal and greed, you know, we can draw parallels. Um, she has drawn parallels to it in, in Pawag and Macbeth. And so it makes it very exciting that we're, we're, we're mixing Shakespeare with, uh, with Cree. You know, I was being one of the elder actors, older actors, um, played lead Wiyoyawak. And I love Wiyoyawak, and it's my favorite. And so I would say, Basically, all the scenes that we work are in, I love, you know, and those are my favorite scenes. Many of, much of the theater I've seen is based in mythology, so I really believe that our indigenous artists are bringing back so much of the culture. We are waking up so much of it through our imaginations and creativity. I always go back to um, what Rinalta said. Um, Rinalta Arlouk, our brilliant playwright, uh, that you know, if we're going to bring back our stories, um, let's bring it all back. You know, including um, the bad along with the good. You know, what colonization tried to destroy. Um, you know, we're we're telling those stories now. And, and so I think there's great, import, great importance in that.